so this is the 1.5 star kaisa pet the weekly challenge with our two star timu let's do this okay let's look at the mutators all units have scouts that's the reason why i took timu because he can attack twice and put mushrooms twice also i gave him a very weird attachment which is basically turret plating gear your nexus has stuff <laughs> i have no idea why i gave it but it's funny <laughs> Yeah, there's no other stat that you want to give Timo. I mean, Clawfield's hammer would have been fine, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, all my buffs are permanent. Fleeting blades and then plus two, plus two. I'll take plus two. I don't want to use a reroll at the start. Uh, drawing plus two is not the worst. Yeah, your <laughs> nexus is tough. I, I just want to try it or how good it is. Like Lissandra, yeah. Okay, a pretty good hand. I'll keep it. Okay, every unit means their unit as well. This guy doesn't have quick attack to... Okay, we are attacking. You can attack double Timo. All allies have scout. Okay, so he will level up if I do this. And then swing. Oh, what am I? Level up for turn one. That's the reason why I took Timo. Scouts on Timo would be more lethal. Scout on Yo would also be crazy, Gwen. But yeah. Fun, moving along. This girl's gonna give someone else quick attack and the quick attacker is gonna have scout. That's gonna be problematic. I wish I could kill it. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Clutch, this one was clutch. Okay, so let's split this one. Oh yeah, it's burst. If you take uh, Nexus, uh, if they take Nexus damage from Boom, you get a free, not free, one mana dart at burst speed. This one. Okay. Pearl Converses is hilarious. So let's take this one. Uh, we'll take the trade. If we, if we can actually attack for free with a scout, we can get Rally back. Can we play anything that can attack twice? So this guy can see if if they take a mushroom damage, I get a burst speed. This it's pretty nice. Colonel Strike's fine by us. I think we can play this, and we'll have enough damage. Actually, we won't have enough damage. We'll be one damage short, but they will die to the mushroom next turn. 91, 182, I guess. X, yeah, the game's over. There's no way they won't take a one hit from 182. Yeah, cover. The Nexus <laughs> getting tough is absolutely useless for I just wanted to try the attachment. Honestly speaking, I thought it gives the unit as well as Nexus tough. I gotta take more of these guys. These are a little expensive. Pop is pretty nice. Two mana, three, three. Quick attack is pretty disgusting. Okay. Azir is much, much, much better. Dude has phage as well. Oh no, overrun. Ugh. It's actually not the worst. But this girl will attack twice. Pantheon. Pantheon is just too slow. I'll take a reroll then. Oh, I took a double reroll. No. Wait. Okay, I'll take this one. Uh, a poppy, poppy, poppy. Poppy is absolutely gorgeous. Poppy will buff everything. Everything is small in our deck. Shop. I didn't actually. Shop will get priority. So let's move this direction. Yeah, Poppy is very good because Poppy buffs every small unit and it moves everything is small. So Poppy is actually good. Not the worst. But this guy is four challengers. Pretty nice. Okay. We'll take a two and a th uh, four. We're looking for something to play on turn three. Okay. Good enough. This guy is the toughest one. Okay, they're attacking though. So they're attacking. Let's play this one for this this turn. Uh, let's take a target spell. Go next. Play pop. Pop is a very good unit to play. Okay. Let's just attack with pop. We don't have to attack with this guy. This guy will eventually grow when uh, Ya comes. Po uh, puppy. So don't use it like that. Uh, if you have added two cards to your card this round, deal three. Nice. Yeah, has already leveled up. This is to give a uh, dart when you summon him. Okay. Yeah, he's here. Long tooth. 
Okay. Okay. Oh damn, double scotty hit is a big hit. I'll take a tough there on my yeah, Nexus then. <laughs> tough on the Nexus. Mm. This is too, so it doesn't actually do too much. So I might as well pull this. Oh no. Okay, we don't take any damage. <laughs> Top one next is actually not that bad. Yeah, we took so less damage. We had no damage from the one ones. Okay, we'll take this one. Let's see if we can get a dart. Super. Get this one. Okay. So. Okay, let's pull with everything. Okay, here we go. We lose a dart if we do it. Because when you when you attack with this guy, you get a dart. Wait, all the darts are burst? Nice. Actually, that's nice. Because when this guy attacks, he gets a dart. This one, this one. When they attack with this one, you get a dart. Yeah. So we would have, we have lost. A, we would have lost a dart. Not that it would have mattered, because we don't have enough mana to play all of them. But it's all right. No, no. Yeah. Okay. Thank God for that. So this one is slow. This one is burst. What? Oh. Oh, strongest one gets? Yeah, or the weakest one gets? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let me check it. When your opponent draws a card, uh, when allies attack, plant. How did this guy get elusive? Is there an attachment on this thing? No idea, but we'll take it. How did this guy get elusive? 84. Hey, that's, ki that's kill right there. Super, but I want to know how the hell did my ear got elusive? This guy. I fired a mushroom, a dart, and he got elusive. Eek. Six damage, nice. We would have taken way more if it <laughs> Yeah, Nexus didn't have tough. Okay, out of these two, I will take this one. Is not the worst one. Four mana hitting face is super easy. I'll take that attack. Dead, teeny dactyl. Oh, shop. Please give us something good. Okay, allies have plus one, plus one when you play them. It's not the worst one. I'll take it. Is there anything else? When episode is summoned, yeah, draw one. I'll take this one. It's a decent purchase, and all of the copies in my deck will have this attachment. So that's pretty good. Now I'm moving along. Okay, smooth soloist. Super. We're gonna go against this one and go upwards to the second shop. Every ally have scout, okay. We have this one, but this clashes with Teeny Dactyl, so let's throw away Teeny Dactyl. We're gonna keep these two together. Even though Poppy's not gonna buff this guy because he has a better stat lane. Higher stat lane, I mean. I still got Teeny Dactyl. Okay. So I can actually play this to combine it with that one, okay. So they're gonna attack. Um, if I play this one, it gets traded. If I play this one, it gets traded. If I play this one, it doesn't get traded. Um, I will take this one then. I'll take four damage. Yeah. So they will attack. Oh, he wouldn't have died. Okay, okay, good to know. I forgot about the power that your ally is plus one, plus one. For this round. Okay, so we take four damage. It's fine. I'll pay pop. If I play pop. Oh, no, no. Yeah, poppy. Yeah, I'll play poppy on the next attacking turn. Then it will be good. Good tough. Okay. Yeah, if I play Pop, he still would have gotten traded. I mean, this guy last last round, basically. So, Timu levels up. Super. Okay, uh, order is wrong. The, but Timu should always be far right of the mushroom putters. Yeah. It doubles first and then puts it, so we missed like three extra mushrooms. Completing Dactyl. Okay, they're gonna go for our team. Okay, so we should go for a wider approach because yeah, it's gonna buff everything, right? So let's play this one. Mm. Okay. Um, we can do this one here. 
and then play Teemo again. Super. I'm gonna play Teemo next round as well. Yeah, I think I could. I should have shot, dart the face and play Teemo next round. Then he had a bigger stat line to attack. Yeah. So we'll play. Oh no, he would. Actually, I hit the same. So we'll play Poppy. Poppy will buff everything. Poppy will buff everything. Perfect. Three damage. And then swing, finish them off, or then dart. Yeah, so Poppy was a good pick. Scout and Poppy means he levels up in two turns. Now we are looking for rally every round. And Criticast costs one less. Nice, nice. Yeah, scouts on all units is really very nice for Timo. I could take 10 damage though. Okay. Grant ally plus one and deal one to the Nexus. One to the enemy. Play this one. But he strikes the strongest. He can get killed. I'll take this one. This is too expensive. Four mana, two, three. Ugh. We'll take this one. We can give it to Poppy to give him one extra. Give her one extra power so she actually buffs everyone else. Nab I hate. Okay. Fill your hand with gems. Plunder I cost three less. Nothing great here. I'll take a reroll. Dias is fine. We are attacking with a lot of firepower. And our, our sand soldiers will have, yeah, on us. Scouts on them. Okay. So, uh, do I need a full heal? No. I'll do a basic heal. Seven mana, two, three mana short. It's fine. And take on Ezreal. Ezreal should be a difficult matchup because our deck doesn't um, excel at killing stuff. Right. We just hit our from our side. So, we have no counter for Ezreal other than this one. If we get something. Okay. So, throw these away. Keep this one just in case for emergency that we need to kill him on turn on a curve if we can actually get it deal two damage if you added two cards to your hand this round deal three okay yeah, so definitely play this guy first because hey, we actually yeah play this guy first so the static shock hits this one yeah and then we'll play timo so timo is safe so timo is safe for one mana they can't do two damage Oh, they just got got you. That's so unlucky. Yeah, this was super unlucky. <laughs> I just said that they can't do one damage for two. One mana for two damage. No. This guy scout as well. Yeah. Super. Raiding party will also be nice, actually, in this one. Let's actually see how much damage Dias did. Dias did six damage here. I call it Dias. It's Dias, I think. Okay. Scout attack, double attack. Can't really do anything about that. Uh, what can I do there? I might as well the pop dude this turn. This girl is gonna die when the static shock comes in next turn. So can't really do anything about that. You can take two damage, it's fine. It's a boss fight. You get my life back. Uh, let's see what we get next turn. Two buffs things, but he buffs in range. Okay, let's put the pop first. Okay, this is gonna get static shit. Okay, they can't play anything anymore, so that's good for us. Um... Oh, Poppy came one turn late. Yeah, we will always attack with everything. Too much damage going through. Oh, super. That was absolutely gorgeous by this guy. He gives a yeah quick attack as well. Nice. Yeah, well, allies have plus one plus one for this round is super on this one and Poppy. Buffers, I mean. No, that's good to know. Eventually we're gonna do pop uh Timu run. Nice, nice. Six damage to face. Acceptable. Okay. Quick attack. Timu doesn't really make a difference. Spell shield Timu makes a difference. I think. Yeah. Spell shield Timu makes a difference. He'll survive. Is he gonna eat there? He wouldn't he wouldn't die to gotcha. Okay. Wow, uh, every time he has okay. When you summon an ally, do you want to the nexus? I'll take this one for the time being. It's pretty good. We summon small units, so along the way we are looking for raiding party. We shouldn't be that difficult because raiding party is a common power. So we have a chance of getting a rating party here and we have a reroll to do it. Uh, what is this? All players draw one. Stalker. Stalker is a 
hitter high hitter aggressive hitter i mean so let's go for this one aggressive hitters are only going to be a problem here because we all we are actually also pretty aggressive to a certain extent I throw these away but one you know, four is a little too late we are looking for one mana and two mana mainly one mana and two mana puppy is fine Timo is protected this time so not too worried so let's play Timo. oh damn look at that yeah Okay, just do this. I could have just given here and done it there. We could have lost one damage there. I haven't used that power that much. That's right. Okay, let's get it out of the way. Mm. Oh, super. So, Teeny Dacker is activated. Okay, let's play this one first. They have to play something else. Yeah. So, get rid of that one. Play this okay. We play this one next round. Uh, I'll take this one and play team Poppy. And we do a massive swing. Poppy will have pl one plus one plus one extra. Oh, we got double Poppy now. Super okay. So let's play this one first and then play this one. Uh, yeah, we'll connect. Christian Strike will come. Okay, no Christian Strike. Swing. Yeah, levels up. Ooh, we got it. No, no, we don't have space. This, this guy is actually super. This guy. This guy and Poppy. Yeah, turn 4. 26 damage. Nice. Yeah, the Dias is actually helping a lot. Yeah, we're getting a lot of value from Dias because of the scout attack. Uh, put more copies of this. This is always gonna get a pop by that guy though. Oh, dude, this is quick attack. No joke. I'll take it. Okay, smooth soloist. Item chest. We'll obviously go to smooth soloist. Looking for a reading party. Kachi Draco Spawn is not the worst. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Is there any shop? Yeah, there is another shop on the other side. Okay, let's do this. Buy this one, come here and go for another epic. Looking for rally every round. Uh, Sting Officer is also pretty good. Okay, let's check on the other side. What's on the other side? Okay, there are no more shops, so this is the, going to be the last power. And I take it. I don't want to reroll it. Uh, this is actually pretty good. We'll have one, uh, one extra unit on the board from the start. Item chest spells, obviously. Item uh, chest... Uh, Item attachment is what I will go for. Spells just clocks the thing. Item on a pre-existing pre unit is much better than putting it on something else. We'll keep this for the combo. You can do it in turn one. I mean, next turn. We don't have that attack token. Oh, see no mana team. Karchi Draco Small is super. Mm. Play zero mana Timu. Let's go for this one. Go next. Let's see what we get. We can get Poppy actually as well. Okay, so let's play this one first. We get a card. Uh, you know what? If you have four plus units, deal two. Uh, I can do this. Let us take a peek at life the way. Okay. So what we want to do is do this here and swing. That's a lot already. 12 damage on one swing. Super. Just do this. Wow. Yeah, that should have. We will have it exactly <laughs> lethal. Gives plus one way here, right? Okay, never mind. They use that. Fine by us. That's still fine. Yeah, they should die in the next hit rate. 40. Uh, okay, no. L chances are low. 40 is quite low. 4 is quite low, yeah. I mean, 40 is quite low for 4. Damage to face. Uh, oh, shit. Also, it's here. Put this one. And that should do it. Super. Yeah, Timo is actually very aggressive. Super aggressive. 
A scout on everything is no joke. Should make it a legendary power. Scout on all units. Mm -hmm. This guy's challenge is pretty good. He can, he can come on the board and like attack the thing that he can kill. Okay. Select a card and add an item to, uh, add an item to it and put an extra copy of it. Manifest a region. I don't need manifest. I'll take a reroll here. This is where I would want a reroll. Regeneration is decent. Barrier is decent. Always in my hand is decent. I'll take barrier. Teeny dactyl grows. So, uh, I think I'll take, take a cut here. Uh, what do I want to cut? I'll take cut this guy. I rarely play that dude. And face off against the 1.5 star Kaisa fight. The weekly challenge should be manageable. Kaisa having scout is pain. Throw this away. Throw this away. Throw this away. We are looking for absolute finish on turn 2 or 3. So we don't want his... They're attacking. Zero mana. Mm. Mm. Oh, I should have taken the Cataclysm, man. We would have got an easy, like, easy rally next round. Damn it. Yeah, should have taken the Cataclysm. We could have attacked next turn. But this one. Fight or die. Replace this one. Like this gives everyone quick attack. Super. That's super monstrous. That's, can you imagine what would happen if we had Raiden parting on us? My pool it might as well. They're gonna put it here anyways. Yeah, we have so many flash rooms in the deck as well now. 13 damage. Super super. Okay. Guys, is coming on turn five, so should I have? He can die to the uh, yeah. He can die to the flash bomb. How many? Four flash bombs. Oh, no flash bomb. Ugh, unlucky. Oh no. Okay. Uh, how do I do this? Pick this guy. We gotta pull this one, right? Oh no, dude. Guys, is coming next turn, so it will be a little wary. Okay. Block it like this. I can block it like this as well. Demo attack. I don't take the block. I don't need the block. Yeah. We immediately full swing, get the dart, and kill them. Yeah, there's. I don't think they have an answer. Yeah, they don't have interactive spells. Super. Yeah, Timu is an absolute beast. At least in terms of aggro squad. That reminds me of Annie. Annie is also super early game. She like bursts of sitting down. Anyways, 1.5 star Kaisa Path, the weekly challenge done with our 2 star Timu. Let's see what we get. Should be decent. Okay, yeah. Uh, Jumping attachment and power discussion time. So the one attachment I have on my Timu is a rare, a rare attachment, which is turret plating. Your Nexus has stuff, that's it. I thought it, I thought it gives stuff to the enemy Nexus and as the unit as well, but it only gives the stuff to the enemy Nexus. Okay, not the words. <laughs> I just experimenting. And of course, the next attachment I gave him uh, during the run was Warning Charm, which is a spell shield because he has a capability. He can easily get killed by any spells, targeting spells. Moving on to the powers. Every game starts you get, uh, you summon a Sting Officer, which is pretty decent. Cards you draw cost one. This is actually pretty crazy because if you draw a team, you can play him for zero mana. When you summon an ally, deal one to the enemy nexus, which is pretty good because our squad is an aggro squad. Any any damage to the enemy nexus for free is pretty beneficial. Uh, moving on to the next one is game star summon an emperor dias. It's basically the nan mic that whenever you attack, you get a sand soldier, which is very good because every unit in this path is scout. 
so all enemy and us so we get double emperor's dias benefit out of it uh when you summon an ally give it plus one plus one this round uh, temporary but pretty good because like poppy and that dude uh, pops everything if it's equivalent to their attack power and this one lets them have a little bit extra to give it to everyone to pop everyone pretty decent uh game start draw two is pretty decent at the start because uh, this combines with cards you draw cost one less so you basically can discount two cards it uh, at a given turn and play them for cheaper if you're lucky if you have enough mana and of course uh, this is team two star power game starts you get one extra mana and when your opponent draws a card with one uh, or more poison mushcrab uh poison mushroom poison puff caps on it create a fleeting poison dart in hand it is per speed and of course when allies attack plant five mushroom puff caps on a random card in the enemy deck that's about it okay so this is a two star darius path weekly challenge with our two star venus let's do this so yeah if we talk about the attachment uh the mediators all cars cost one more for everyone obviously and of course game set all players summon a crack shot course here and that's it uh i haven't played i don't really like varus that much okay everyone everyone's pretty good uh buff Ooh, buffs are permanent i'll take it buffs are permanent should be crazy on varus because varus gets to uh, we have a lot of buff stuff stuff in the deck so that should be nice permanent buffs this is actually pretty nice it's crazy i rarely use it because it's not for every it's a very niche power to have okay so everyone has crack, crack shot curse here or oh, they're attacking uh I'll give the Varus. This is too expensive. These are too expensive. I'll give Varus and this guy, girl. I'll play her at the start because I want to take on that one. Hopefully, they won't open attack. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I forgot about Varus's power, right? Okay. Uh, reduce the cost of a spell in deck by one, then create an exact fleeting copy of it in hand. So, these are coming from inside the deck. The first time each round you target an enemy ally with a single target vessel, copy it on the strongest ally as well. Okay. So, we can take this one uh i think i will block it that's fine i'll keep my crack shot course here and this uh, stat will be permanent because of the puff that's the only reason why i used it yeah so this will stay permanent super oh everything is cost one costing one more that's why okay. uh, i wanna get the damage in uh bank my mana go next okay so uh, so one complaint about the varus deck is the fact that varus deck re revolves around weapons but he only ha he, he but they don't has this deck only has one weapon i think or two which is varus himself which is very bad when you're playing a deck that's revolves around weapon but he's the only weapon okay so they have spells and shit what's that i will just play spell shit for protection so weapon deck without weapon that's why it's sucky two damage is fine next one virus is coming yes quick attack challenger right yeah so it's pretty good now he's he's gonna activate a uh, weapon and everything is gonna activate now so this is quite dumb that he's the only one who can activate the weapon thing okay i'll just take him out now we'll start playing the girls and getting us uh get the gem this you get only you only get gems if you have do an, done an equipment uh you have played an equipment in this game <laughs> and whereas is the only equipment activator it's quite weird so you can't do a lot of things uh, oh damn two mana each so. yeah you can't do a lot of things before you play Varus. i don't think they're gonna do anything uh playing another one will be clock the hand so might as well do this use our mana up and this is if these stat increases are permanent because of the power that we had oh it's not it should be though a stump yeah it should be i don't know why it's not go next yeah the stat increase should be permanent oh because the stat increase is coming from the weapon not the yeah that's fine this should be permanent okay. yeah this should be permanent these should be permanent yeah I am more than this. We are more. eight i think to me raised on death living by hate mm. we deliver their end permanent is all i have left permanent I can just finish them off. Yeah. 
So far. Like how much stat does he keep? Nine, yeah. So okay, so big, big chunk is the weapon increase is what we lose, but the other buffs stay. Super. Yeah, I haven't played Varus at all. Even in PvP, I haven't played him that much. Okay, weapon is pretty good. We definitely want weapon. Weapon is what restricts the uh, deck, but that thing will cost one more. Ugh. Okay, zillion, zillion. Uh, uh, yeah, is also pretty good. Yeah, defensive battle is going to be very good. Take here. Not the worst. Varus is four, right? Varus is four. Tendril will be six. Zillion will be three. Kihiri Kihiri is horrible. This one is the most decent one. I take a reroll. Fine, I'll take a reroll. Bard is pretty good. Kaisa is also pretty good. Kaisa is two mana less, so he'll be four mana. Four mana means clash against Kaisa. Uh, yeah. Varus. I'll take Bard. Bard seems more better in my opinion. Okay. Shop spell healer. Obviously, shop will get priority. The chime dude is the reason why I took him. Bard is not the greatest, but chime dude is always. This chime dude is always great. Okay, he actually has one extra stat line. He's gonna be five mana though. Two mana, five mana, one mana, one mana. Everything is one one extra. Quite painful if you think about it. Uh, I'll play chime dude. Attack. Get our corsair. Get in. It's quite odd if you think about it. One extra stat stat line. Uh, yeah, fleeting copies of the spells in the uh, hand. I mean, that's for free. Oh, it's the one that if you hit, they get it right. Create a sheriff in your hand if they attack for free. I know this one is a super painful. Yeah, I'll take the trade. You never want to let anything hit the face. If they if they hit the face, they get another copy of it. So it's eventually going to be a chain loop of attacking over and over again. It's quite weird. So we will do the attachment right now. We'll do the attachment right now and get the things activated. Pretty nice. Get the yeah in. This is gonna go away. I wish I, wish I had, it, had it this round. Attacking round, I mean. Defending round, I mean. Okay, super. Okay. I can play this one. I can play this one as well. Better stat line than that girl. Uh, okay, it's fine. Actually, it's not fine. Might as well do this so they don't get a Shadow Fiend. And they get these are... Okay, why would I give it plus one? Just give it more attack power. Varus is here. Actually, keep these. Why does it happen twice? Oh, because of this one. Okay. The play Varus. Varus is 360. doesn't level up. And this is, this is too much damage for free. So you have to sacrifice something against that next turn, so let's just... Oh, I, I wanted to play the... Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to play this girl. That was my bad. Okay. 10 clearly we need space. Do this. Is it every time you play? Or is it one round? The first time you play it round. Okay. So it's a temporary thing. Oh, we're gonna burn something. No, we won't. We're gonna get it back. Yeah, this one. Oh, super actually. Uh, let this. The arrow of retribution will Give him a spell and you'll be fine. He has so much firepower on his side. So much power in us. Just do this one here. These are permanent. A few goes there, a few goes here. It's fine. Yeah. Block here, block here, block. As long as we don't. Oh, okay, that guy gives it. Not because it saw something else, okay. Then. Yeah, Varus is the best one to give it to. This dude has. He's the only one who was, has Overwhelm, so. Do we burn it? I don't think so. Oh, I do burn it. No. He gets all the buffs, pull, overwhelm. Yeah, he's the only one with overwhelm. 
how much does the stat does he have? 12, okay, yeah. So, uh, permanent stat is a very difficult thing to measure in Varus' spot. The guy grows too much and it's very difficult to see which one the stat's going to. Is it going to the weapon or is it going to the unit? Phage, 4 mana, 7, 6 is not the, not the worst. Mm, but he doesn't really do much. With the, with the lower realm. And career on here. Oh, as much is very decent. Shop will get priority. What is that? This is really hilarious. I, get, I can keep it in my hand all the time. I can get Echo as well. Nah, Echo is just weird. Nah, tough on someone for 120 gold is a little too expensive. Take a reroll here. Ah, oh, super. That's actually nice. Cards actually we are looking for. Yeah, creative cards cost one less at the moment. Okay, we'll take this one here. Their shop here. So we are looking for creative cast cost one less so the gems go back to one mana. <laughs> because it's becoming too expensive. Well, two mana gem is just too disgusting. Disgustingly bad, I mean. This is too... Can't play it right now anyways. All of these are like three mana and four mana. Yeah. We'll just go next. I could play this, I could play this one actually. It's fine, banking the mana is not the worst this one. A little luck for those who need it. He's got us covered. I'll take the damage, it's fine. Three damage is not great. Not the most painful thing. Uh, we just need a weapon at the moment. No weapon. Pop our dude. This is not the way. Be brave. And I don't want to use the gem yet. But you have to, yeah, we have to be very wary of how much things are coming into our hand. Hand gets super clogged very fast. We can't play the girl. The girl gives a gem, and the gem clogs the hand. So, over on this guy. Just permanently give it to this guy. <laughs> it's sharing though. Yeah, so to be a little careful of how we play it, that's it. And you should be fine. Yeah. One heal on their side and it'll be serious. Sure, you have to part on our side. Super. That's okay, right. We're not burning anything. Eight mana, nope. The Varus get ready for next turn and we should just finish them off. Uh, perfect draw actually. I think one gem should level up, uh, uh, yeah, Bard as well. Crap shot Corsair away. No, I can really do it this turn. I think this will level up both of them. Both Varus and Bard. Those who have nothing to lose. I think. No, it doesn't. He's, uh, he's quite close. No, one more. I don't want to use it this turn, obviously. This one. Yeah, that should level him up. We'll use the Bard spell and then do something else. Yeah, let's just do the Bard spell. Super. Put this one here. So how much can he go? That's the question. Mm. this okay i think he still dies yeah i can actually even stun him yeah to do stun 41 damage yeah it's actually fun ward is actually pretty decent against with Velas. 
Problem is the fact that they are very close to each other in terms of cost. And it's costing even more because of the path. But true, it's affecting the affecting the enemy as well. Nice. Pretty good. Okay. Ugh. Don't like it. 50% of playing for free is decent. Shop. Adoptatron, obviously shop with good priority. Reading party. Okay, filtering copy of that one. Uh, I don't want to use a reroll. Uh, might as well use it. We're, but we are halfway only. Yeah, we're only halfway through. Uh, predict. I will not take that power. I would rather take this one with the predict so that all the copies are predict and go next. Uh, yeah, don't unnecessarily put rubbish power. That 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 power is only only good in specific matchups, not in this one. So you just go next. Yeah. I don't want to take that power. Unnecessary gold waste plus. Don't take power that's not super synergistic with your squad. Uh, throw these away. Keep the bard. Normally you don't want to keep the bard. Bard is too expensive. Comes on for turn 5. Ugh, now he's going to get super clocked. Oh, this is so bad. Yeah, this is actually super bad. No, bard. Bart, you gotta cost us the game. Nothing escapes my mm, Court is here. Obviously, crack shot will get priority. Mm, next. I actually want Varus right now. What a weapon, at least. Okay, that sucks. Oh no. I think he still gets it, right? Yeah. Thank God for that. Thank God for the power, I mean. Okay, I need this. I need another blocker next turn, that's why. Eight. See? See the problem with the squad? It has a lot of shit, but it doesn't have the weapon on their side. I think they will attack, obviously. Stand with me. Um, what of damage you're taking? <laughs> the bard, the taking bard was a bad idea, like super bad idea. Sage one is coming now. Well, we have a stun at least next turn. It's a 50% chance of being played again, so. Obviously. And 50% chance and I missed it. It's a 4 7 though. What is this? Uh, so when I'm summon or attack, create a gem in hand. It's pretty nice in any other situation but this one. It's fine. Oh, yeah, we have raiding party. Not that it's doing that good for us. This one is coming in. Yeah. Mm. Oh, he's doing it like that. That's actually pretty smart if you think about it. Uh, but this thing is permanent. Okay, pretty good. Take this and stun that. Give another one so we're not too worried about him attacking. If he can get Varus, he should be fine. Oh my god, dude. Might as well play the cultist. In the hopes of getting a Varus. He's so... Actually, he's not actually that close. Okay, can't even attack. Wait, we can't attack without a weapon. See, this is the pro most biggest problem about this deck. Can't really even do anything, even if he wants to. <laughs> Take this one. Let my part die. I have another one in my hand. Hail, War Mother! Drive them before us, Era. Might as well buff this guy. I should have done it before attacking though. I missed a couple of damages. Yeah. 
Yeah, the entire DEX format works on one person coming into the world with an equipment, and we don't have it. And that's why it's sucking so much for us. Should be fine for the time being. We're losing our damage dealer, but they're losing a bigger board. We have like slashes on ours. If we can just survive it long enough. It's not the worst. Should yeah, he should level up Bard. Bard should level up now. He didn't. You wanna kill this guy so we get a uh, yeah. What is that thing called? Yeti. <laughs> can't even use the slashes. It's so dumb. Like three and we can't use any one of them. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this spell is actually clutch right now. Is giving us three bodies across the board. Where are my weapon dudes? Dude, I have two weapons. I have blood letters and reparas in the deck. Fight like the animal you are. That's a lot of damage. Safety block just in case. To see that to see an Esmos block a Shijuan is hilarious. Mm. I might as well have to use our yeah stuff. They say these were from the protector himself. One weapon and we'll be fine. One weapon. We're just stalling for that weapon, by the way. Oh my god. Pretty nice. Drive them us. Highest HP. Twenty years. Slower than Orn, I swear. Finally. All of them are activated now. I don't have I don't have enough damage on him. Okay, now I do. Now blood now blood letter is coming. Holy shit, dude. Now blood letter is coming. Uh take one. Yeah, these are those spells are crazy. How much does he keep? That's a question. That's just still a lot. I know what we are. That last one will get over, yeah, written. Another hitter on the board, I mean. And the department Saturn is actually monstrous. A little late to the party, but we did it. That was bad. I should have given here. Yeah, that was super bad. Yeah, this is the reason that this is the problem with the Veras deck. It is a weapon deck without weapon. It's like K, but no weapons. Only one person has weapon. So the majority of the cards cannot be played. Yeah, this is a boss fight, so at least we kill the thing back. I get more stat line to Bard. I wanna keep my reroll for the time being. Heal back for full, moving along. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, but we need ya. Yeah. Oh, we need 
Ugh, create a cost cost on this. I take it for the time being, not the worst. Okay, spells costing item. Item is uh, better because you see our hand is getting clogged, right? You might as well put attachments on a unit than putting spells because the spells will come in your hand and mess up your hand even more. But the items will stick onto the units. Obviously, keep balance for the love of God. Jesus Christ, this guy is going going on a vacation during the fight. Also, I was almost at the end of the deck. <laughs> One turn late. One turn early, I mean. Keep my Corsair alive. I don't think that was actually as beneficial as I thought it would be. Keeping Corsair alive is also pretty decent. You have one extra body on the board. I'm gonna use this guy, yeah. He can give another one. 50% chance of it costing zero. Yeah, so this, uh, this is the reason why I get more bodies on the board. Mm. I don't need to do anything extra. Yeah, this this fight seems to be super difficult. Yeah, it's here. Oh, going for face. That's not a good sign if they're going for face. Is they're used losing everything up yeah that spell that gives us two extra body just saved our, our hide you would have insta died if you didn't play that i want people to play varus it's fine i can play varus but i won't need to buff it man, yet I'll just go after the others i got a bottom yeah i got a buff buffed varus Just go for the elusive one for the time being. We deliver their end. We have weapon activated even though I don't ha I won't have it, yeah true. But it's alright, okay, this is pretty clutch. They always hurt yeah. and we always find them. Just do damage. Block that one. Yeah, that one was absolute clutch right there. Super. Uh, I'll take one damage less. Yeah, create a cast cost one less is an absolute needed right now. Because we are, we are like bleeding mana for nothing almost. We're bleeding so much here. This one mana is gonna go to two. Oh. Save him. Level him up. The arrow of retribution will find its mark. They actually have enough to kill him again. No, he doesn't. Just take the biggest one out of the way. Um, this one can't be blocked. This one can't be blocked. I mean, they can be blocked, but it will die. We'll take the biggest one out. So that we have a tempo advantage on our side. How can I help? Not tempo advantage, more like we don't have to worry about something big coming at us. We have double hitters on our side. Why is this card too? Just here. Huh? Four damage. I don't want to take four damage. I want to predict to see I can set something up. Bardis, the body's leveled up, so yeah, definitely a better pick. Actually, Bardis here as well. It's a very clunky path, I'm not gonna lie. And I don't think Varus was the right pick. I think Master E would have been more fun. Because he himself discounts cards. Bard is getting buffed. Mm, go next. Hopefully we get a like, buff or something, right? 
many chimes are there? 24 chimes. Come on, dude. Easy five chime. Ugh. Ah, super. We deliver their end. Hmm. How much damage can I push? Twenty. Yeah, I think they should be fine. There we go. Super. Yeah, so, uh, so if he's in your hand, at least it's way better. Even though it's a little still painful because of everything costing one more. But still, it's fine. Let this be a yeah, the spell that is uh, 3 mana and uh, putting two bodies on the board and a 50% chance of getting uh, uh, you getting it again is pretty crazy. Okay. Maduli is very nice. HP extra always in my hand is super good. This guy, this card has been saving my ass since the start. Spells costing one less. It's actually a thousand times better because uh, GM is a spell. Ooh, it's nice. nice, nice. Mirror Mage, obviously, Mirror Mage will get priority. Oh, yeah, spells costing one less is much, 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 much better. A lot of things will cost one now. Thank God for that. Maduli is too expensive. Throw these away. This will come back to my hand, so that's good. good. And of course, Vera's because it's impossible to find. Mm. Okay, so we are attacking. Oh, which, I think I will play this guy. I have a 50% chance of getting it back. Oh. Okay, we can attack with this one. This can only trade into that one. If it gets traded... Okay, no, it's not taking the trade. If it gets traded, this will become 3-3. Three, three, that's fine. Uh, Smear Mage is actually scary to take it out because we don't know how many creative cards they're gonna play and it's super cloggy okay taking out that's actually very good because this guy is gonna get plus two plus three plus two plus two I mean Look, this one these are fleeting by the way they're they are not even the real copies yeah they're not even the real copies so we just have, we just have to flood the board see we are flooding the board with basic units to block that are uh, almost free to play Super, we just go next. Uh, eight. We draw one, we get fleeting of another. Fine. Ah, we burn. Oh, we don't burn. Weird. Yeah, we do burn. No, oh, no, Maduli. They attack with everything. Just to shot the damage for the time being. We want to wipe the board as it is. You want board space, obviously. Oh, and I ran, of course, raiding party. So, due to raiding party, I wanna. Oh no, raiding party is also gonna die. Whatever we're gonna get from raiding party, I mean. Dude. I think this should be give give me enough space to get whatever unit is gonna get popped by the raiding party. Yeah. Oh no. It's not the worst. This mama is the beast mama. Yeah. Stop losing the beating one. Loud and loud. Okay. So is this actually not really, that's an emergency. I just play Varus. I could really use this one, damn it. It's fine, I can use it this turn. I see this is actually the one that I wanted. This thing buffs so much, it's crazy. Wait. Forge. Alright, this one. He's gonna give this guy as well. Oh no, he's not. Yeah, one spill can level up. That one spill gives like four stacks of Veras level up at solo. Yeah, GM costing one is super. I was having a pain doing it another way. Just take out the yellow one. 
Oh, you can just take out mirror image. That also works. Mirror image, mirror image. Mm. Uh, seven. Might as well use it for board space. I don't know how much space I need. I think I need eight. No, no, you need three. You are being created a one. Yeah, you need seven space for a ten. Yeah. You will have exactly nine on our hand. Yeah, see? Three. We get three cards per turn. We have to use three cards per turn. Mm. Yeah, three cards per turn is no joke. How will you use three cards in the earlier parts of the game? Okay. 27. Yikes. That's good. Yeah, do this. That shit fine. That should do it, yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is good or bad, but he's just so clunky. Yeah. Actually, one costing more is what's problematic. I don't think deck will be this weird when he, when everything is not extra one. Uh, this is decent. He's your nexus for three. Nah, but it goes down when you you play it when you, the second copy goes to zero, so you actually technically heal nothing. This girl is fine, but she's four mana though. No, we have another checkpoint, I think. Oh, fine, why as well. The first one will be at this three. And the uh, spells are original value because of one costing less. Cards you draw cost one less. Actually, I will take this. Cards you draw cost one less. Cards you draw cost one less. So that's created cards though. Nah, I'll take a reroll here. I'll take a reroll. And you draw a plus one challenge. I'm going everyone is plus one plus one. Uh... Mm -hmm. So debatable which one I should take. I want to show when I have summon is fine. He'll do a full heal, too much gold lying around and go against Darius. Yeah, so this is a two star Darius, the weekly challenge with our two star Veras. Oh, I hate Veras. Got so less power as well, like seven powers. Mm. Never barred, yeah. We learned our mistake from last turn. Lost that game. Never, never keep barred in the hand. It's just too expensive. This, I will this. On Super. Came a long way for a mm. Oh yeah, we have raiding party, so every phase damage makes a very big difference. Nice. It's fleeting, so might as well give it. It might even pull out Varus. Oh, I should do it next turn. Yeah, so double effect. My bad. Just now we're learning how, <laughs> somewhat learning how to do it. Forge yeah. first. I could actually give it this girl over on. Stun's fine by us. Trading party. Super. Oh, we'll play the gym next turn. So we get double value of him. Yeah. Super. 5-5. Five, five. Okay. Just may get an absolute. Oh, what a crack shot Corsair is 11 6. So Zarius is turn, so you're gonna worry about that one. Um, let's do it. Okay. So let's do this here. If they play Darius, we swing at it, yeah. Okay, they're not playing Darius. We'll put another weapon. Oh. Uh, Okay, so fine. We have a stun on our side, so we're not worried about Darius swinging. Okay. 
super actually. 25, they took the entire damage. They don't have true. They would lose regardless of how they do it. So this is Darius' turn, we just stun it. Then we'll be fine. We got this one as well. I'll handle this myself. I'll just do this. Yeah. But yeah. Bard might have not done much, but his spells are cr clutch. Uh, highest one will get this. Yeah, swing should do it. They can't attack here. Yeah. Darius will level up by himself eventually. They should do it. Yeah, there's no way to block this much damage here. Super. We didn't even need Varas and he, he can stay on his vacation. Super pain, man. Yeah, this path is actually not beneficial for squads that use a lot of spells. Because everything costs one more, so you have to invest way more. Anyways, two-star Darius path, the weekly challenge done with our two-star Varas. Let's see what we get. Uh, hopefully an A, right? A, okay. Champion achievement, part discussion time. I have no idea why Bard is there. So Bard is a support squad. He came with studded letter. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. He's a four mana, four, seven. But I never played him. I played him on the... I kept him in the mulligan once and it was a bad idea. Don't keep Bard. Okay, moving along. The powers. Uh, when you summon an ally, give it plus one, plus one this round. It's decent. Uh, all your spells cost one less. It's absolutely must because everything costs one more. Your spells costing one less means it will go back to its original price, which is actually a blessing. It helped us so much. So one of the only reason we survived in the later parts of the fight. Okay, the craftsman's favor, uh, ground sir, create a fleeting copy, a uh, fleeting uh, time and dedication in hand, raiding party when you do the nexus damage. When you uh, damage the enemy nexus, grant the top ally in your deck plus one plus one for each time you hit the enemy nexus. Uh, allies, allied buffs except barriers are permanent. Absolutely disgusting. Even keywords and uh, stat buffs, pretty nice. As for Varus, it's an absolute blessing because he gets a lot of attack power for every spell or targeted things you play on ally. Uh, this is Varus's two star power every game such you could one extra mana and round star reduce the cost of the most ex reduce the cost of a spell in your deck by one then create an exact fleeting copy of it in hand so it pulls out a spell from within your deck it costs one less and it's fleeting uh next one is varus monster power the first time each round you target an ally with a single target spell copy it onto your strongest ally and to support it okay so this is the four star nautilus pad the weekly challenge with our two star kindred let's do this okay let's talk about the mutators yeah so all enemies have plus 10 extra hp one extra mana and one extra card in their hand around start give the four strongest unit plus two and overwhelm this one basically uh draven's path's power and of course at the round at the start of round seven the four summons a random level two champion should be hilarious but we have kindred so kindred kills directly so that's actually hilarious your creative cost costs one less it's actually decent because our spirit here will cost one less Sphere journey will cost one less. That's the only beneficial thing out of it. You know what? I will take a reroll here. I want to reroll at the start. Sovereign has gets plus one plus one dead. I will take another reroll. Allies everywhere has plus one plus one. I'll take it. Uh, only Kindred is the one who doesn't have Lark, if I remember. Yeah. These two. But the rest of them are all Lurks. I'll take, I'll take the Lark one. Not the worst, but not the greatest, but it's fine. We'll take it. Oh, River Shaper. Should be a difficult. This is a four star, so it should be a difficult fight. River Shaper fight was actually very difficult. It's in the uh, Draven path, I think. Uh, kill spell. We'll throw this away. We keep one, uh, yeah, on us, but you have to throw the others away. Those are activators, and we. You will, those need to be activated to be played. You like this one. You need a unit on the board to be played. Okay, we'll play more, uh, yeah, on the board. Praise on the board. Go okay, next. All of them will get away. Raiding party is what we are looking for. Okay. So we definitely take uh, this. Uh, take this one. And do this one. I don't want to take any unnecessary damage. Uh, that's the opposite thing. I should have actually done the. Nah, my unit would have died if I had done that one. It's Kindred's turn. So I want to play Kindred. Everybody has Challenger. Okay, it's fine by us. Um, I'm gonna pass. Okay, now I'm gonna attack. Obvious. This dies, that dies as well. Two Kindred. Lark, everything gets plus one, plus one. Super. The pass was actually very good for us. 
Get more praise. With this. Let's see what happens. Okay. River ship that one is a kill that one. Super. Okay. I don't want to take it. I don't want to block that one. I don't want to take. I don't want my kindred taking damage. Super. The praise on the board keep keep getting more and more damage to Nexus. You know, two or eight. So what time we actually beat them? But questions: How many cards do we have? Okay. Prankster is definitely something that we want to be on, be on the board as fast as possible. Not to find by us. Mm -hmm. How do I do it? I sacrifice one of our dude. I don't want to use this is because this actually keeps a unit alive. That's why this keeps a unit alive It revives and brings it back. So it actually doesn't help as much um, Get this one wow. Let's do this Now this kills it dies we do more damage as well and as, as well, this dies, this gives us mana. We can lay enough to play that one against that one. And we full swing next turn. Okay. Block. Nice. If we get a prey, it get challenger. We can drag it and do the damage as well. Okay, they got a unit. Ooh, round 7 gets a champion. Okay, we do this then. It gives mark that one. We swim within the flows of magic. Waters are still. Okay, let's let it die. So there we go. The power. Is it every round? No, only once. So not too worried. Then. I'll just throw this away. Okay. Block. 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 You have another kindred in hand, so not too worried. This one and full swing should do it next turn. Yeah, everybody has challenger. We drag it to the lowest one. This one rally every round is gonna be pretty good, right? Yeah, somewhat. But even that one extra power because of the lurk is pretty decent. It's nice. It's a, it's a little slow. It's four stars. So it's gonna be a little painful. It's gonna be a little pain. Mm, let's see what we get. Okay. I don't like any of them. Ooh, champion strength is hilarious. Take a reroll here. Mm, all of us have plus one, plus one. Take all of us have plus one, plus one. Not the greatest, but might as well. You can lower its cost if we can give attachments to him. Okay, Timu is actually something that I want. Gangplank is a little expensive, but Timu is something because it's four mana. You wanna, if you want things that are uh, lower than Kindred Squad, okay, healer, spell, shop, shop will get priority. Yeah, we're looking for a raiding party. Raiding party will be the best one to get, especially for this path. Uh, keep the entire hand. It's pretty nice. They're attacking though. Let's see what we can get. Okay. House spider. We'll do this then. It's a lark. Oh, what just happened? <laughs> I didn't even see that. No, I lost a pop for nothing. Okay. For this plus one plus one. Ugh. Yeah, it's difficult to do anything if they're like exactly have what they need. Uh, the first turn was my bad, obviously. Super bad. Need more cards. We technically need Kindred and it'll be fine. Nah, I'll take the first hit for the time being. I'll take the first hit for the time being. These are so bad. Like, look at the four spells and we can't really do anything around it. 
And we don't have our yeah on us. And if we had kindred, we'd be fine. on us take that one out because that does face damage every turn mm. still looking for our dude yeah we're looking for kindred no and no kindred for the time being we can't keep up with the widespread that's the thing you can't actually play big units you have to play small units we have to play small units unfortunately Chip away the units. Magic and oh god. <laughs> oh damn. Ooh. Rick side. Fun. We fight for one friend. <laughs> Should be fine. That guy can't attack. We get a spirits, yeah, journey every round, so he's never gonna attack technically. The war mother will unite us all. Everyone here is so cool. Yeah, we never know what hit him. Super. Dude, where? Like, b b uh, uh, last 10 card Kindred is there. Holy shit. Kindred. Oh my god, dude. It's so dumb. Beyond dumb, dude. I mean, let's just kill that one. We, we saw what they don't. Uh, we, uh, we can see what they have in their hand. Nothing, right? So they might as well play it right now. Now you're gonna get kindred. Just wait. No, kindred, it's fine. Oh my god, that was such a brutal, yeah. Yeah, we never got our kindred. That was super brutal. Jesus Christ. Nine cards, eight cards, and kindred is one of two of them. Yikes. Super. That's fine. Ugh, you always have bad games. Yeah, so sometimes you just have bad games. That's fine. Uh, this is actually nice. We can easily grow him. Yeah, I can easily grow him. Shop. Spell, obviously, shop will get priority. Raiding party. Uh, when you play someone, you can try to plus one. Not the worst. I'll take two of them. The reason I'm taking two of them is because, first of all, this is cheap. Second of all, this thing gives a body. So it's actually also nice. So I'll take it. Not the greatest, but it's pretty good. So yeah, unscree uns scarred reaver. Oh my god, dudes here. Okay, fine. We'll throw this away. Keep these. Let's see what we can our attacking turn. Pop is here. Hopefully we won't lose pop like last time. I learned my scars. Okay, don't want to attack into that then. Uh, she gets attack power if you she takes damage, that's why. Grow this guy even more. Okay. 
Let her take two damage. Give her. Oh yeah, wait. We are our HP is low. I don't see it. The four units have zero one. Uh, why? Oh, because of the power. I'm gonna take a gamble and do this. The reason why I'm doing this is not, uh, it's because uh, I don't want my kindred to randomly die with like troll chant and shit. Because this will kill that one as well. So unnecessary. Let, we'll just play it slow and hold the board. If kindred died there with some random ass spell, I would never recover from that point onwards. Super damage. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. Yes, and get rid of that. Absolute. Uh, I shouldn't play that. I will lose a prey for that. Yeah, I will lose my prey for that. Yeah, that was a mistake. The team who played. No. The winter's claw strikes. Leave nothing standing. I think this should be fine. Yeah. So next swing, next turn would seal the deal. We the idea is to just hold the ground down. That's it. Uh, yeah, as long as you have your kill engine on the board, you should be fine. Damn, I got him. Yeah, we'll be very close to the point when the champion comes on the board. Because Kindred is like that. Kindred is a little slow. Yeah, the, the main challenge will be to fight Nautilus. Phage, <laughs> not really that great. Train from one, I'll take it. It's a one mana kill, so activate Sia's. Oh, what was that? No. Oh, young witch, okay. Young witch, uh, reckoning is a little too weird for us. We'll take this one. Oh no, this is the worst one ever. I don't want to take it, yeah. I would definitely want to take it. We have trouble getting kindred, might as well. Yeah, leave. That's why you always need a reroll. Always need a reroll. Okay. We do a full heal. Use the gold instead instead to heal up, then get a power and face off against a uh, gangplank. You are super low on gold. A Ten HP against a gangplank. Which one is this? Uh, the creed agree. Okay, this is the easier one though. But you never know. Obviously, keep kindred because it's hard to find. Dudes avoiding us, ghosting us. <sighs> Okay, they're attacking. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's plus one, plus one extra for the year. Okay. <laughs> if I play anything, it dies to them. Might as well do this then. Yeah, take out the battle for the time being. Mm. Yeah, we'll just wait for Kindred to be on the board, then we'll do our thing. Play it slow a little. Yeah, that's very good for us. Play this one. Take that one out. You best hope they'll do. Uh, we don't have to do anything because um, our EI is coming, Kindred is coming, and Kindred is gonna pull, give Challenger to the puppies. Let's play this one. Mm. Hmm. Oh, it resummons. If it resummons, then how? 
Oh, it resummons the same amount, that's fine. That's fine. It resummons the same amount. Uh, do this. Do this. That's nice. That's a lot of damage, actually. Oh man, I hate it. Okay, let's put more praise so that it's difficult to hit with naked rain. Key targets, I mean. Get him leveled up as fast as possible. It's coming on to 15, right? Uh, 15 each. Okay. okay, fine by us. Do you this one? Plus two from the lurk. It's a boss fight, so not to worry it. Draw two cards. These guys were not their greatest. I could throw them away from a checkpoint when we uh, go up against uh, Nautilus. Because Nautilus, against Nautilus, that ca those cards are not going to give any value. Five mana, one one to the next cards you draw. Crazy. It doesn't do nothing. For, it doesn't do anything for you. Yeah, the lark has been pretty beneficial, like super. The lark has been very good. Look at this guy's from three one to six one. Super. Yeah, majority the cards are like three or less, except like four, three or four cards. And Timu benefits from it as well. So boss side, we heal back, heal back for full, it's pretty good. Challenger Timu is already gotten. A uh, flash bomb is also pretty good. Dragon Fury is also Fury is also pretty good. You can get a very big, uh, yeah, can do it. Okay, I'll take it because his mark. I don't think it, no, his mark doesn't count towards uh slave for some weird reason. Card you draw cost one is pretty good. disgusting. Uh, item attachment spell. Item attachment get priority. A stun. This actually it's not the worst because our kinder doesn't need to technically attack. He can just sit on the board and still do what he needs to do. If you can get him, yeah, super. I'll keep this entire hand. He has fury, he has fury. Oh, he already has fury. Okay, so we're gonna play this first. Don't let the fluffy tear and then play this. So just do this. Is it strongest last stun? Sun the strongest unit. Okay. I missed Lurk though. So we have a block for that. Now we've got the upper hand. Time for a leap of faith. Okay. You'll thank me later. Try to keep up. Take 12 damage, it's fine by us. Take turn one out. Click in red and go after the others. It's five point by us. Let's see what happens. Can do this. Ah, oh, I could have pulled it. No. Yeah, I could have pulled it easily. Got stunned. I, it got stunned because of luck. So this dies, this will die. This will get marked. This will get quicksand next turn. See how much quicksand makes a difference. But we won't play quicksand. We'll probably play this one. Yeah. You want to play quicksand for emergency purposes? I think. Oh, never mind. This is an emergency. I might as well take it. This is Fury, so give it to Timu. Take all fun by us. Play our prankster, pull with this, and swing next turn. What would you wish to learn? Okay. Let's do this. Kill that one, mark that one. And do the same combo that I said last turn. Oh, he does get it from the mark. That's actually nice. I remember he didn't once. Get stunned. We have raiding party, right? Or was it last game? 
Yeah, okay, we don't have raiding party. That's fine. We still dish, dish out a good amount of damage. <laughs> yeah, we dish out a good amount of damage. And we have spells to hold the ground down, so not too worried. Okay. Yone is here. Do the same thing as before. Okay, this is a kindred. That was my bad. I should have used this one. Killed, grows. Two damage, super. Mm. I might as well block it like this. Let this. Not the greatest, like I said, he's not that great. His value is super low. Okay. Doesn't matter, we swing next turn anyways. Kendra will get... Uh, Oh damn, Leon is here. Yeah. Change of plans. Change of plans. Mm. Stand together. The Lois will pull it. Yeah, I don't want to use my prankster. Uh. Mm. I don't want to it. Yeah, I don't think they will block it with prankster. Yeah, they won't block it with prankster. Good 15 damage. Super. Because Prankster is constant damage. Like, you don't want to lose your Prankster. Even though his attack power, her attack power is low, she does so much damage to other people's deaths. Okay, so we are running out of cards. We need draw synergy. Overrealm. This is actually something that I want. I just talked about it. Yeah, I need draws. Item attachment. Set a card and add item to and put an extra item to it and put an extra copy of it. Force acceleration always in my hands. Pretty disgusting. I'll take it. Shop can be something decent. Okay, another. Oh yeah, these are lurks, so that's actually pretty good. Okay, do we get another shop on the other side? Nope. Okay. Whoops. Oh no! Let me buy my power. Okay. Okay, buy my power. Vega is here. I don't need Vega. Shuffle that. You go here. Face up against the red pack, and face up against uh the Nautilus. Four star Nautilus. We're doing pretty decent. Not the worst. Nice. Nice. Not nice. This is two body for one. Yeah, we don't need this. This this is for train and self-sacrifice. Uh, Timo is fine. We just need kindred. I'm nervous when I don't kindred in my hand. Okay. They're attacking. Yeah, so... We actually... We can actually... What's the thing called? Crumble that thing if you give it a chance. Charger. Might as well take it out. Yeah, that's actually a very good power considering the fact that we just got. Didn't take any overall damage. Oh, nice. Kindred is also here. Oh, super card. They draw cost one less. Nice. Clutch. So let's see what they do first and then we'll work around it. Super. So that's dead as well. Yeah. They shot six damage, it's fine. That one gets marked. Super turn for us. Kaji drop us one little clutch right there. Mm. I'll put Mass Mother here. Oh, damn. That's a pain. Uh, uh, I don't want to take 10 damage. Too much damage, actually. That dies when I do it. We can do this. Yeah, we have. We ha I'm just thinking, can we, can we kill them? This one, I mean. No. Everyone here, Wolf. Uh, we do this. I know I can pull it with Kindred, but I want to maximize my damage there. It's fine by us. I want to maximize my damage with Kindred hits. 
because I wanna finish the game as fast as possible. We're low in HP, you know. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. Just take that one out. This is the last good value I got caught out of it. It's fine. That, yeah, taking out the landmark is super important. We got our big units on the board, now they have a problem with getting theirs on the board. Sunburst, my bias. Got moon units on the board. Curse the strike is fine by us. Yeah, so we just do this. Sacrifice the pup. Actually, we don't have to sacrifice him. We can just kill this guy. Yeah, go next. See, now these two cards in our hand will help us refill the deck in case we run out of cards. Run out of units on the board, I mean. There we go. A okay, perfect moment for a lurk. Okay, because uh, Kindred cost three, he's a lurk as well because of the draw. Super. Yeah, we didn't take that much damage for a red fight. Yeah, we did pretty pretty well, decent. Super super. With grace and precision. Yeah, pretty nice red pet done. We need a full heal along the way. Okay, out of these, overall is pretty decent. This girl is also pretty decent. He gives she gives us mana. And she gives us two bodies. I'll take it. Two bodies is pretty good. So basically she gives us a full three mana. Okay, draw. Oh, we don't need draw. Do we have draw at the start? Okay, I will take draw. The reason we would take draw is because uh, draw uh, cards we draw cost one less. So we might actually be able to play team on turn one. Okay, do a full heal and face off against uh, four star Nautilus fi fight. That's weekly challenge. Yeah, this should be fun. Yeah, this should be super fun. But we have Kindred. Kindred bypasses a lot of things. Obviously, throw all of these away. Okay. I'll throw this away as well because this is far side alteration. So I wanted to draw Timu so that he costs zero. They're attacking, so to be a little wary about that one. Cards you draw cost one less. That's actually pretty nice. Super. This is actually pretty good. Zero mana cards will always be appreciated. Play this one. And play this one. And then kill this one. And go swing next. You obviously swing, dish out the damage. I missed Lurk. This is the reason why I put it up on the stack because we could have hit Lurk. Let's see what they play. That one fine by us. Play our prankster. Start our thing. Overrun, pretty dangerous. Fitter is here, super. So might as well do this. Get rid of this so you have space for our kindred. Okay, we block we don't block that. We do this. Space loss, fine by us. We do this. We do this. Maximum damage. This, yeah, this will be a little problem, but it's fine. Oh no, he got killed by the mark. I forgot about the mark, totally. Devourer come here. Okay, no devourer. Devourer is coming next turn, then you have to be careful about that one. Oh, might as well use this. Use up the mana. Uh, uh, I'll take this guy. I don't know why I took it just for the fun. I'm gonna play a copy of this next round. Oh, I could have played it this round. I didn't know. I didn't know that interaction worked like that. By the way, that's fine. So, video hour is coming. Okay, they can play Nautilus as well. Okay, put it, place it back into my deck. It's fine. Okay. I don't want to use my team. Do this. Uh, 
I don't want to use with a one mana. Yeah, because they can have Vile Fist and shit. Stay safe. Yeah. Even Vile Fist and stuff. Go cool. next. Swing and dish out the damage. So champion will come, right? Your turn not eight. Wait, where's the champion? Whatever. I'll take the risk. 16 damage, fine by us. 22 damage, fine by us. See? That's the reason why I didn't do what I did. I didn't <laughs> crumble the 1 HP dude. It would be pain, man. And this is actually hilarious because it's a 0 mana unit. Whatever they're gonna play, I'm gonna kill that one. Yeah. Okay. So, they do... Crap. Yeah. They do this. They do kill this. Mark that one. Enter deep, it's fine by us. Oh god. Yeah, he's coming, man. Yeah, the worst case scenario is Yax coming. Terror of the Tides. Terror of the Tides. But we have Kindred to play. Timu kills support. Nah, no, it can't kill alone. Jax. <laughs> Terror of the Tides? Okay, heals. What a great face off. I have a team. Nice, super. It's been forever since I see him come on the board. I wanna check how much damage does the prey have? One, not the greatest. Okay, quick attack. Over on quick attack, yikes. Uh, block like this. Take 5 damage. Ooh, 16 damage. Stand and defend. Much better. Why am I using this one? You have, to be, uh, you have to be a little careful about the sense that they can actually have anchor on their side. And that's, um, that's the most painful thing to deal with. Yeah, dies. Jax dies. Lights out. Get this one. Yeah, no, I know it's informal, but I just wanna pop the thing because I won't get another chance to do anything after this turn, anyways. Four units. Okay. One. Kill. 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 This is gonna get anchored. Okay, fine. God. They, if they had, if they had anchor, it would be in bad spot. But it's fine. We got him. It was super close though. Yeah, it's 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 a little tricky. If luck, if uh, my luck didn't favor me right here, we would have been in serious trouble. They were constantly devoured from this point onwards. So yeah, Ugh. yeah, super clutch in the end. So yeah, the four star Nautilus path, the weekly challenge run with our two star kindred. Let's see what we get. Should be A, A B. Okay, not bad. Champion attachment and power discussion time. So kindreds, uh, the attachment I have on my kindred is Lauren Blade Rack. All allies have challenger as long as kindred is on the board. And later on, I gave him an attach attachment of Dragon Tooth, which is one one plus one plus one to his stat line. And Fury, I am a dragon. Uh, his skills through the mark contribute towards uh, Fury, so he grows on the board if if he just stands still and you sacrifice or kill units. It's pretty nice. Uh, game start shot through is pretty good because we have cards to draw cost one less. So this combines with these two, so to give a very good effect. I like it. It's pretty good. I like this power as a staple. 
people power as it is and this just makes magnifies this one next one is game star summon to vanguard lookout this is actually very good because of this power all allies that cost three or less are lurkers so these vanguard vanguard lookouts are basically lurkers so if you attack and hit lurk these will grow over time if you want their attack power to go over, over time or else their free bodies on the board at the earlier parts of the game pretty which is pretty decent next one which is uh when you summon uh one cost ally granted plus two plus two is decent because our praise are one cost wait our breakers praise are zero but there are a couple of one cost uh allies this one specifically and timu they are plus they have plus two plus two stat line pretty good pretty good uh, uh this one is gangers two star power game search you get one extra mana and rounds to create a spirit journey in hand if you already have one cost reduce its cost by two spirit journey is basically kindred signature spell moving on to kindred's one star power round start summon a prey if you already have one instead grant your prey last bit deal one to the enemy nexus this is basically as long as our prey is on the board that means if you have five preys all five five preys will get one uh deal one to the enemy nexus if they survive the round and this stacks that means that if a prey is on the board for five turns that prey when they die will do five damage to the enemy nexus and each damage is a take damage meaning it's one 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 until five so with raiding party this po um, power is an absolute monster of a beast of a power of course last but not least game search you heal your nexus for two that's about it